Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Raul Supina and I'm a pet bullet artist based in Belgium. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to draw realistic short fur just by using one pencil and it is a black one. I know it is very hard in the beginning to start with drawing because you don't know which colors to pick, how to blend and everything. That's why I want to show you guys a very easy method to start with just by using a black pencil because all you have to do is to mind the pressure on the pencil. A few years ago I also started just by using a, an harsh black pencil because I didn't have a lot of art supplies, almost nothing and uh, a black pencil as well for the darkest shades. That's why I want to do this video to show you that you don't need a lot of pencil to make a realistic drawing and this is going to be a black and white drawing of course and um, I really hope you're going to find it useful and interesting. See you in the video guys! I started out with a very light layer and right now I'm marking where the shadows are going to be placed. I used an HB pencil for that and I used a very light pressure so I'm working in a very light layer. This is going to help my eye have a better overview where the shadows and the highlights are going to be placed and right now I'm using makeup brush to smoothen everything up. I started working on my darkest area, so the darkest fur. When I'm working in black and white I always try to work from dark to light. This is going to give me a better overview where everything is going to be placed, like I said before. I'm working only in hard pressure and as well in small and short lines. This is going to give my fur a much more realistic look and as well a three-dimensional effect. Towards the end, I'm trying to lift my pencil a bit to create a nice gradient. And this is going to add as well on the realism of my fur, that's very important to do. Before starting out working on the darkest areas, please make sure there's the right placement for your dark fur because if you are going to erase it in the future, you won't be able to do that and you are going to be left as well with very dark markings and you won't be able to get rid of them. That's why I advise you guys to try to make a very light layer like I did in the beginning just by using very light pressure and small markings to create a placement for the dark areas and it's going to guarantee you that there's the right placement for your dark fur and avoid a lot of stress in the future. As you see in my demonstration, I'm holding my pencil as close as possible to the tip that's going to allow me to apply a very hard pressure on my pencil and to create those, those really dark lines. If you're going to hold your pencil too far from the tip, you won't be able to achieve that dark area those dark lines because your pressure is going to be too far from the tip and, and that's not what we want. We want to create a very dark area to give our drawing a lot of contrast and a lot of realism. I'm doing this demonstration just by using a black pencil and by doing that I want to show you guys that you don't have to spend a lot of money on expensive graphite sets. All you need is a black pencil and to control the pressure on the pencil and as well to pay attention where, where you are holding your pencil. For example, as I said before, if you want a dark layer, hold it as close as possible to the tip and if you want a light layer, hold it as far as possible from the tip. Please remember as well what I said before, if you want to create a realistic look, press hard in the beginning and lift your pencil towards the end. This is a very important trick and you shouldn't forget it, otherwise you won't achieve that realistic fur and those, those highlights between the fur, so try to remember that. I started out my second dark area by using a slightly medium pressure. I just took my time and built my layers up until I achieved the darkness I wanted. It is very important to take your time and not hurry and as well, don't just jump right in by using a very dark pressure because in case you want to change it in the end or you want to erase it you won't be able to do that so you will be stuck with very dark lines you need as well to mind the pressure on your pencil and to be careful not to press too hard towards the end of the line another important tip in creating realistic fur is to always make sure that the tip of your pencil is sharp 
By doing that, you are going to achieve those strong and short lines that gives the short fur effect. If you feel like your pencil tip is getting too dull to be used, try to keep rotating it with your fingers to make sure you are going to use every side of the pencil tip which is still sharp. This is going to save a bit of time as well. As you can see my demonstration, I keep rotating my pencil and it became a habit. I don't think about it anymore because I kept using it. And it's also saving time from always sharpening your pencil. So it is a win-win situation. Please make sure you don't cover the whole area with dark and thick lines. You want as well to leave some spaces between them and those are going to be the highlights. If you are going to create too many dark lines, you are going to cover the whole area with just a big black spot and you, you won't have any highlights as well and are going to give to the fur a very thick effect and we don't want that. We really want to have some highlights between them to give the fur a shiny look and to increase the realistic effect of it. You need as well to follow the fur growth. The fur doesn't always grow straight, it is also curly and in waves. So if you don't follow the, the way it grows on the bone, it isn't going to be realistic and you are just going to have a flat and not very realistic looking fur. This demonstration is coming to an end and I really want to remind you guys some tips I've already said in this video. The first one is try to work from light to dark when you are working on a certain area of the drawing. The second one is if you are working with dark fur, try to hold your pencil as close as possible to the tip. If you are working on a light area, try to hold your pencil as far as possible from the tip. The third tip is, if you feel like your pencil tip is getting too dull to be used, try to rotate it to your fingers to always use the sharp side of the tip of the pencil. The fourth tip is, always follow the growth of the fur. And the fifth tip and the last one is, take your time and don't hurry, build up your layers and please mind your pressure on the pencil. Okay guys, that's all for today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button as well to be notified every time I post a new video. I'm going to post two times a week and if I don't, I'm going to post one time for sure. Thank you if you watched the whole video and thank you as well if you didn't watch the whole video because I'm really grateful you pressed on my uh, video and uh, you're curious to find out what I want to say and uh, that's really nice of you guys as well. That's all for today's video. Have a nice day wherever you are and see you in the next one. Bye guys!